But we begin tonight with new video of that wild police chase in Warren that ended with one man dead. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. The chase is raising questions about whether the pursuit was necessary. While some police agencies have clamped down on dangerous chases like this one, Warren police are making no apologies for the decision to pursue a man they stopped for a traffic offense. Tonight's 7 investigator Ross Jones takes his questions straight to Warren's top cop. This is how a police chase the day after Christmas ended in the city of Warren, with a 24 year old man dead after colliding with a box truck. But this is how it began about three minutes earlier after police noticed a red Chevy Cruze had expired tags. The reason I stopped you is because the plates expired. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just going for work. Oh, yeah? Um, is this your car? No, it's my girlfriend. Your I'm down. The driver was Maurice Kelly. His family says he was on his lunch break when officers pulled him over for a license plate infraction. But Kelly didn't have his driver's license with him, and officers would later learn okay. it was suspended. Oh, uh, what I gotta have you do is just hop off of me real quick, man, just because you don't have your license on you, okay? Nope, 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 nope. It was then that Kelly made the worst decision possible, speeding off from police. First through a residential neighborhood, then blowing through a stop sign before pulling onto the grass and ultimately getting back on the road. He was speeding well north of the 25 mile per hour posted speed, driving on the sidewalk at one point, then again on the grass as officers struggled to catch him. A judgment call by the officers, which I support. Commissioner Bill Dwyer today made no apologies for his officer's decision to chase the suspect, even though chases like this put police and the public at enormous risk. What were the speeds? What was the top speed? I'm not sure what the top speed was, but they were moderate speeds. They were not. After first saying they did not know how fast officers were traveling, officials would later acknowledge they reached speeds of 107 miles per hour, well more than twice the speed limit on 10 mile. As Kelly approached Ryan Road, he would run a red light and collided with a Penske truck. Oh, into okay, okay. a uh, box truck. He's underneath the box truck. Airbags deployed, let's shut this intersection down. Knowing that these chases are inherently dangerous, how did your officers decide that a license plate violation was worth this risk? Because in many, many cases, maybe in the majority of cases we run into, when we have a fleeting and eluding particular case, it always leads up to someone that was either wanted on a felony, convicted of a felony, or going to commit a felony. Maurice Kelly was not wanted for a felony, but officers would later learn he did have a warrant for a traffic offense, a misdemeanor. After the crash where Kelly died at the scene, police recovered a stolen handgun in his vehicle. Based on the fact that he was driving incredibly recklessly, was that not a reason to consider stopping the chase? No, because they, they monitored it in real time, as I said, the supervisors and the officers that were out there. And that, did you see anywhere in that video that someone's life was endangered? I'll ask you well, that obviously question. that was the case because this man did is you dead. Anybody, you see anybody that he possibly was going to hit? I didn't see anything. I mean, he ran into a truck. I'm not going to argue with you. We've lived here for about five years now, and it seems like every day there's some type of car accident because of a police chase. Jacqueline Lenz doesn't live far from the accident and saw the wreckage firsthand. She said chases like this are happening far too often in Warren, with officials confirming this was the 293rd police chase of 2023. I'm sorry, but it's not worth it. In a statement, Kelly's family urged Warren police to revisit their chase policies, but declined further comment. Kelly had previously been convicted of felonies for stealing property and possessing a firearm. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you so much for the investigation.